particular material number. This is how the entire functionality is run. While we, as far as the data fetching is concerned, respect to the material at least. In fact, it is same for customer and vendor and finance as well. The concept is same. We are reading the change request and based on that we are fetching the data. Now, so when I'm saying that staging to persistent and persistent to active, how it happens? Definitely it does not happen automatically. There is some, some activity which defined or there is some configuration which defined which actually help to do those certain activities. That is nothing but SMT mapping. So the, the first mapping is staging to PP, staging to the persistent area. And then the another one is PP to the active. So let me start with the first one. So just go back. Here we have create and edit mapping. Click on create or edit mapping. Or you can take the help of extend mapping. Extend mapping means like let's say when you already in the mapping level standard fields are already mapped if you will see that so the first one is so go to mapping click on open and here uh, mdg underscore bs underscore mat map to pp this one so this is the mapping and the mapping step you have to take. We have added the field under the material entity type. So we have to look now this one material root. See this is the structure. This is the same structure which we have generated which we have generated earlier. This is a structure. That means what? That means it is pretty clear when the data going from staging to PP with respect to this structure the data is going. Because how SAP will come to know that which are those fields I have to carry from staging to PP. The only way to understand this, this is the source structure. That's what we are generating the structure before we are doing the SMT mapping. Now, yesterday uh, uh, in the last class, I was talking about like in case if I say, uh, let's say I will not, let's say I will not able to do the generate structure and also I will not do this extend structure. What will happen? This fifth and sixth number step, if you will not do, in the SMT mapping, the field, the custom field which we are looking for to map from staging to PP and PP to active, that field we will not get it here. Because whatever the field we will get it here, just because of extension of this structure and the general structure. Because of fifth and sixth number step. Okay. So that's what it is, it, those steps having some significant as far as the uh, data availability is concerned at the SMT mapping level. So now uh, just select this mapping name and go to detail. Here go to transformation, field mapping, see. These are all fields are the standard fields, which is already present. See old material number, gross weight, net weight, then length, lab office, then material group, industry sector, material number, base unit of measure, material type, net weight. So these are all standard field, which is already mapped. Why? Because as I said earlier, 
that is standard field already there in the ECC table that means it is already in reuse mode standard fields are already in the ECC level what we are do, right now need to do we need to take the action against the custom field so click on edit button so I need not to do anything with the standard field standard fields already in the data model as well as in the ECC table when it is in the ECC table how it is done through this SMT mapping so it is uh, the standard process which pro provided by SAP which we need not to worry about the standard fields only the the very point from our side is how we will add the custom field now this is the one and add it so we will add the custom field here go down this is the one Z test 4 so the same structure I will keep here which is a generated structure this is the field so this is the detail about the field which we are adding here in this SMT mapping fine so this is the mapping from uh, from staging to PP from from staging area to the PP this is the one next next is the mapping for MDG underscore BS underscore mat map to STA go for this mapping so this is the mapping uh, don't don't go by the name if you go by the name you will see it is PP to staging area PP to staging does this really happen PP to staging no it is something which is going to the active area not back to the staging area then then how I will move the data to the active area this is not the actual uh, uh, concept is don't go by the description it is always persistent area to the active area so now when I'm sending the active area in which table I'm sending I'm sending this into the Mara table so definitely in that case the the mapping step will be this one MDG BS mat Mara so if it is MAKT table then MAKT if it is a, a MARC table then it will be MARC so this is the based on the table name this mapping step name has been assigned or defined so now if, if I now talk about PP2 staging what is the relevant in the staging area with Mara there is nothing called Mara in the staging area but there is something Mara in the active area level which is the ECC table name so it is always persistent to active area so now select this point and go to the de detail so again uh, sorry no come back so here so this is the source structure see MDG BS mat S Mara MDG BS mat S Mara see from which structure the data is populating so now if I if I will not append these are all structures then in uh, mm, uh, this 2 STA in, in mapping name 2 STA the data will not available so that's what from this that perspective those structure extensions are very much important transformation tab field mapping click on edit so here also the standard fields are already in place I need not to do anything with the standard field now I have to add the custom field
so this is the custom field and this is the structure so the source field will be z test for enter so the rest of the details will appear and save it so that completes our smt mapping with respect to mdg bs mat 2pp mdg bs mat map to sta these are all then the add the custom field in the ui level so ui level at this moment we are not talking about because we have a different chapter for ui before we come to ui there are many things in uh, uh, data model level 